Hello YouTube, this is TaylorBurks108 and I'm going to be showing you my new Echo 1 MP5 A5J I just bought from my local retailer of airsoft guns. Um, if you live in Florida, you're lucky. It's in uh, his website is Mike's Air Mike's Paintball.com, but he also says but he also sells airsoft guns. This is the exact package it came in. I'm not this is not the way it came packaged. Um this uh MP5 uh the back right here is made with cushion, so if you put it on your shoulder it feels a lot more like um comfortable. The retractable stock is metal. 33 settings to it. One, two, three, four, five. Those are all the settings. And uh, I usually like to have it on this setting. Um, your ambidextrous uh, switch for semi, for safe, semi, and auto. Um, you have a switch to release the clip. Which is this. Or, you can press this button right here. I usually like you doing it this way. Um, this is for nothing. This is just made for looks. This is the hop-up setting and your general warning. This is the safety guard that goes on your thing, but just like that. Your iron sights are metal. Your uh, your aimer is metal, including the sling on it, and the sling back here is metal. Um, this is made with sturdy plastic, um, high, very high quality plastic. Your high capacity 200 uh, BB ammo clip mag is metal. Your sling thing is metal. This is, uh, this looks like metal, but it is not. Um, this is the best kind of plastic in the world, or at least, uh, in Florida. And I'm going to show you how to also put the battery in. You would take this little pin out, push it in on the other side, pull it out, easy as that. Take this off, pin down, and this is the battery that it came with, 8.4 volts, uh, 1100 mAh. Um, you just clip on the battery, it's a little hard to do at first, but it's easier after a while. Now that we have it plugged in, I'm going to take this, and uh, we are going to slip the battery in there. Make sure it's facing down like this so you don't get screwed up in any way. Make sure the cord is on one of the sides. I prefer the left side. And you make sure none of the clips are tangled in with the clamping down. Uh, now you would push this in, grab your pin, push it in, and voila, it's firing. Now we're going to load the BBs up. Stop it. Okay, before um, you decide to load any BB uh, in your clip, you want to use 20 gram or 0.2 uh, BBs. They're usually white BBs or camouflage BBs. Um, this is a 5,000 pack I bought for $14 at Walmart. Uh, it's really cheap, 5000 You can get a 10000 one for about $24. Um, 
except I didn't have that kind of money at that point. So, now that you've loaded up your BBs and your clips, and by the way, this is how you load them in there. I recommend a uh, BB loader with an actual extended tip on it, so you can just insert them. But this isn't even halfway full. Uh, I just put some in without a BB loader. Once you've gotten them in, you're going to wind the spring up at the bottom this way. And as you see, as you wind them up, TVs will become visible at this very end. And if you wind it up tight enough to where it's pretty hard, where you can wind up anymore, they'll uh, come out for quite a while of time. Now once you've done that, you're going to insert this into your MP5. And you're going to set your iron sights, whatever you want, close quarter combat, close quarter to medium, medium, and long range. Okay, now that we're done that, I'm going to stand at about 50 feet away from the grill over there. Go show them where the grill is. Now be sure before you fire, of course, take this safety guard off. And what other people say on YouTube, where this is wobbly, the retractable stock is wobbly, if you buy it from Mike's Airsoft or Paintball, it is very sturdy, and so far it has not been wobbly for me. And we're going to shoot at that grill over there. stop firing after a while um, because none of the BBs were loaded uh, enough into it and to make sure this doesn't happen exactly what I said before wind it up tight enough uh, you might have to wind it up during your airsoft games but that's fine because it won't take long at all it's unless you're in close quarter combat um, once you've wound them up more be sure not to wind them up so bad or so tight to where they can't move anymore because that's how it jams. And if you jam it, a bee will get stuck in there where the spring is and you'll have to bang it really hard on the floor to get the BBs or the spring to release. Now that we've wound it up, let's fire it again. Exactly as I said before, apparently the thing has jammed up on me. So you're going to pour all the BBs out of the spring, set them down, uh, you can put them back in your bin if you want. And as you can see, this is still pretty hard to wind up and there's no BBs here. So what you're going to want to do when this happens, you're going to want to bang it on the floor. Wind it up a little. Bang it on the floor. Of 
course, you don't want to do this. Exactly. Now that the spring's wound up, it's easy to push. And then you start coming up again. And this is my review on my Airsoft Gun MP5 A5J. And thanks for watching.